What's up my friends? This is John Baruti from Baruti Success. Today we are talking about becoming an entrepreneur, tips and tricks. Stay tuned. Okay, all right, all right. Brand new year, 2022. What are you doing to make this the best year ever? Okay, what I'm doing is I'm planning my new business. This, right? So as you know, I have had businesses before and I'm making this, this, my newest business and I'm excited about it. So I was thinking, uh, planning for this year and I had said you know what let me go on and just shoot the poop with uh, with my fans and my subscribers don't forget make sure you subscribe I'm almost at a hundred and I'm super excited about that and then from a hundred we're going right to a thousand so subscribe it's free please do it I really need you to do it okay here we go right so first First and foremost, what should you do? What are the tips and tricks for us today, John? What are they? Well, Sally, the biggest thing I believe, not all people, not all accountants, not all lawyers are going to agree with this, but I personally feel that forming an LLC for your company is important. Do you have to do it? No. Should you do it? It's debatable. I think you should. Um, does it make your life a little more complicated? Sure, it's a little more complicated for your tax form if you're doing an easy form and you want to get the best out of your taxes. You know, you're, you're going to have to fill out um, more information. You're going to have that $50 or $75, I forget what it is, um, yearly formation fee that you have to give to the wonderful uh, government of the state of New Jersey if you're in New Jersey or wherever state you're in. So there are some comments. But I truly believe forming an LLC, keeping things separate, uh, personal life and business life is really, really, really going to help you. Okay. Um, also, I think it makes you safer. Safer? Yes, yeah, safer. Right? Because keeping your business and your personal life under an LLC umbrella. If somebody, again, let's say, I don't know, let's say you, you have a coffee shop and somebody slips and falls outside your co coffee shop. Well, the coffee shop is under the LLC, not under your personal. And as long as you do everything right, there's a thing called corp corporate veil. Um, you don't want to pay things out of your personal checking account. You want to always pay your business expenses out of your business account. Um, and as long as you do those things and do them right, you are protected. Those people can't come through the LLC to get to you. Again, not a lawyer, not an accountant. Go and ask your advisors. Um, and they may disagree with me, but I've been doing this for 30 years. I've had multiple LLCs. Um, I've been sued, not a lot, but I've been sued. And, um, you know, all my personal assets were always, always safe. Okay. So, um, it's easy to form one. And my suggestion is you go down in the, into the notes and I've linked up the NewJersey.com business portal. It's a pretty good portal. It takes you, walks you right through the everything as far as, excuse me, what to do um, to form a business. And you can get your EIN number straight from there. It'll connect you to the IRS's portal and those will sync up. So you'll have your federal ID and you'll have your uh, New Jersey state EIN number, which are basically the same numbers. Um, and it's easy to do. If you do not feel comfortable with that, you could go the second route. LegalZoom is an online option, uh, a little, um, a little, I don't want to say easier, but they walk you through it, you know, it's, so it's a little more personal. And then the last option is going to your accountant or going to your uh, attorney and having them do it. That basically washes your hands of it, puts it in their, um, in their, puts it on their desk. They're the professionals. They'll do it properly. It, listen, it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars. Um, I wouldn't do it because I know I've done it so many times, but if you, if this is the first one you're doing, I would probably suggest go through your accountant or go through your attorney. Okay. And again, I linked up down below, um, for the New Jersey, uh, portal and for, for legal zoom. All right. Next tip and trick, uh, business plan. Uh, John, I can't believe you're saying this. I don't want to do that. That's too much work. Listen to me, okay? I've had multiple companies, 
And most of my companies, I had to get financing, either from my family or from uh, the bank, mostly from the bank. You walk into a bank, especially today, and don't have a business plan and don't have a, a proper way that you're going to pay them back, they're going to laugh at you, okay? Especially if you have no history of being in business. So for the financial reasons, uh, a business plan is good. But I truly believe for you to make your business successful, you should have a business plan. Um, I'm going to link down below. Uh, it's, a, it's a template from Microsoft. Pretty good. It's not outstanding. You can find templates all day long. Uh, this just seemed to be the easiest one. So I linked it up for you. Um, and again, it's a, it's a template. You can delete most of it, add your own stuff. Don't make it super technical. Don't make it super long. Um, you want to have a vision. You want to know what you're going to do. You want to know what you're going to sell. You want to know how you're going to become profitable. How many widgets do I have to sell, John, in order to become profitable? If I'm doing a service business, how many people do I have to see? What can I charge? What is my competition charging? How long will it take for me to be profitable? Um, all those questions can be asked by answered by you sitting down and writing these things down, okay? And even if you don't wanna do a business plan, my suggestion to you is sitting down with a piece of paper or a Google Doc or a Word document and starting to write these things down. And it will become a business plan. Um, and it be can become a business plan very easily. But you need to know um, why you're doing this, why you're starting this, how you're gonna be profitable, how you're gonna make money at it. And by doing that, you can basically create your own business plan. I highly suggest it, uh, highly suggest it. And that being said, uh, here's a, um, a little bit of truth. So, you know, this is a business for me. I'm trying to make this make me money at some point. It's not now, but that's okay. And I have not done my own business plan. And I, I, I will be doing that in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to sit down and figure out, okay, John, how are we going to make money at this? And I kind of have it swirling in my head. How? Because, you know, I've done some research, but it's not written down. And I don't have a clear path of how I'm going to make money. And 2022, hook or crook. I plan on making money with this. I plan on having, I told you this, a thousand subscribers, perfect time to hit that subscribe button. I need your help, so it's free. Sorry, um, thousand subscribers to get monetized on YouTube. And uh, I, I, you know, I wanna make this work. Why? A, I love doing it. I love sharing this stuff. It's crazy, but I love doing it. And B, you know, I want to have a, a, another income that I don't have to go to my savings and to all the things that I put away. I don't want to spend that. I want to have income. I'm still pretty young. So I'm going to do a business plan. You should do a business plan. All right. Next. Okay. So we've talked about organization and becoming a, um, an entrepreneur. Uh, they go hand in hand. My dad was a phenomenal chef, phenomenal chef, phenomenal. Uh, I would have put my dad up against any, any chefs in the world, believe it or not. My dad was that good. That being said, he was not organized um, and he was not, I don't want to say he wasn't a great entrepreneur because he was, he was a great business person, but he didn't have things organized. Um, I'm a little better at that, but where I'm going with this is, so before I mentioned that you need to keep your personal and your business separate. The best way to do that, I found, is for me, it's QuickBooks. So for you, if you don't want to spend the money for QuickBooks, I understand it's a little costly. Um, I have the online. I love it because I can you know, just bring it up on my laptop. I think I pay like $12.50 per company per month. Um, but again, so I did a little research, and um, there's two... Um, apps or programs that you can use that are free. One is Wave and the other one is ZipBooks. Both are totally free um, and they seemed, I did a little bit of research real quick, they seem terrific as far as if you're just starting out um, to be free first of all, second of all to keep your books separate. It's an important, important thing. A for taxes, B for liability as far as, you know, again, the corporate bail thing I mentioned before, keeping business separate from from your personal, it is important, okay? So let's keep organized, let's get some sort of financial, even listen, you wanna do a Excel spreadsheet? 
a little bit of a pain in the ass, but listen, you, if you want to do that, you do you, you know, God bless you. Do a, 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 either a Google spreadsheet or a, a Microsoft spreadsheet of your expenses and so on and so forth. Okay. Next on the list. And again, each one of these are important, but this is, this is a big one, right? Focus and setting goals. Okay. So focus and setting goals is, is what I believe is one of the biggest challenges of beginning and not even beginning. If, if you're watching this and you're, you're a seasoned entrepreneur, I can remember years ago, I was, you know, I was at a, a block wall. You know, I'm like, I'm in business for 20 something years. And I'm just, I got tired and not focused. And my goals went out the window and I sat back down and said, okay, why am I doing this? And what are my goals? And what's the reason that I'm in business? And, 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 Writing that stuff down, just like the business plan that we talked about, right? Just like everything else we talked about, writing it down is super important, okay? So you need to know, right? You need to have an idea of why you're doing this because things are going to get tough. And if you don't write down, okay, so I hate my job. I don't want to do it anymore. Well, that's a reason. Uh, I want to make a ton of money. Well, that's a reason. Um, you know, there, there could be a, a million reasons. Is it money? Is it freedom of time? Is it that you want to chart your own destiny? Whatever it is, write it down. Why the, why the hell am I doing this? And the reason you need to write it down, Bob, George, Sally, is because things will become pretty shitty. Okay, well, John, why are you saying that? Well, I'm just being honest with you. Being in business for yourself is an absolute joy until it's not. Um, things will always go wrong. Life gets super, super hard when you're in business for yourself. And if you don't continue to remind yourself why you're doing this in the midst of it, right, then you might quit. And, and quitting is the end all be all of an entrepreneur. If you quit, you, you know, you quit. You, you can't see your fruition to the end. You can't see why am I doing this for a year or two years and put all this into it and then have nothing, right? It's important to keep going, right? So writing all these things down and being confident in why you started this and having that to go back to is important. Okay, so focus and setting goals and saying that, you know, I want to make a million dollars is terrific. I would never saying you want to make $10 million is outstanding. I wouldn't make that, you know, I would put that in the top. That's where you want to get, but separate your goals. Start small, give yourself weekly or monthly goals. How am I going to, how many widgets do I need to sell to get to a thousand dollars this week? How many widgets do I have to sell to make? 100,000 this year, start small. Um, it could be weekly, it could be quarterly, it could be monthly, but set smaller goals so you can accomplish them and feel accomplished. And believe me, that 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, whatever you set for yourself, will you will get to it, but you can't get to that without setting realistic smaller goals um, to set yourself up for, for success, all right? So setting goals and... Um, you know, focus is, is a huge, huge thing. And focus for me, especially, uh, keeping, cause you know, I'm a, I want to do everything. Um, and that is great, but it's also bad. You want to stay focused on what you're doing. Don't have five different business ideas. You can have five biz, uh, five different business ideas, but focus on one of them and make one of them prominent. And I'm going to do just this and I'm going to be terrific at it. And uh, you will be much more successful than if you had five different things going and you weren't great at any of them. Okay. Um, the next one is what I believe is my greatest trait. Okay. And what has made me successful tenacity and stick to itness. Yeah. Stick to itness. I like it. Okay. So I, I truly believe this is a trait that is so important to an entrepreneur, right? It's easy to start things. It's easy. It's fun. It's exciting. You know, all those things. But when it comes down to it, 
and the minutia gets in the way and your first widget bill comes up and you don't have any money to pay for it or you've been in business for a year and you have some employees and you have no idea how you're going to pay their payroll, having tenacity, right? Knowing, knowing that you're gonna get through it and have the stick to itness to say, yeah, this is gonna get tough. And I don't know how I'm gonna get to the other side, but I'm going to do it. And saying to yourself, I started this for a reason and I wanna see it through. I want my kids to have a better life. I want me to have a better life. I want my wife to have a better life. I know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna tell you, one of the things that put people out of business one of the number one things, they say, if you look it up, it says financial, right? And it's true. Financial is probably the number one reason people go out of business. But the difference is, we all have financial issues. The difference is, when, you, when your back's up against the wall, and mine has been multiple times, and then payroll, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in a week. I'm like, how in the hell am I going to come up with this? And I did. It wasn't magical. It wasn't. Oh, I thought it so, and it was no. But your mind is amazing. There are your mind can get you out of anything. It just can. And if you're not thinking clearly, and if you're not being tenacious, that you know you can get through this. You know you can get through it. Your mind will tell you, well, did you think of this, John? Did you think of that? Did you think of going and asking this person? Did you do this? That's what it will get you. If you just say, ah, I can't do it. It's impossible. I can't do it. Guess what? There, Jane, you can't do it, right? If you tell yourself you can't do it, you ain't going to do it. If you tell yourself no matter what, no matter what, I'm going to figure out how to get this paid, how to get this done, how to get this signed, how to get this delivered, how to whatever it is, get it done, you will get it done. And that, my friends, is stick to itness and tenacity. And it gets scary. It gets very, very scary, right? And, and a lot of times you're gonna wanna quit. And I don't wanna focus on quitting, I don't, uh, because this is tips and tricks for, for an entrepreneur. But one of the biggest cha challenges as an entrepreneur is you're going you're gonna to go up against a lot. You just are. And in order to get yourself through, you're going to have to have the tenacity of knowing that you can get through. Okay? So uh, I, I, I don't want to um, beat a dead horse, but you know, being able to know, and again, to know you can get through it is important. I've always said, it is darkest before the dawn. When you're in a rabbit hole somewhere in the middle of the woods and you are freezing, it's the middle of the night, it is pitch dark, it cannot get any darker than it is, and you are hearing howl, owls and, and wolves and everything around you, and you're saying, as you're in the corner, what the hell did I do to get myself here? And I've been there. I've been there. Maybe not in that hole, in that woods, but definitely on the side of the road in a bread truck, sleeping on a, on, on a shelf in the back of the truck, saying, what the frig did I do to get myself here, right? And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when you're saying, there's no way, I can't get through this day, I, I, I don't even know how I'm going to get through the next second, you see the sunlight start to come over the horizon and then it starts to become a beautiful day and you look back and you say to yourself how the frig did i get through this day you did you did right in that moment you are saying to yourself there's no way it's going to get worse there's no way this can get better this is the worst that i ever I, and start screaming and then you actually get through it and you look back and you say, holy Christ, if I could get through that, I can get through anything. And that's what I want for you. If you're going in business for yourself, you have to have that. You have to have the tenacity to say, it will be better tomorrow. And it will be, it just will be, okay? So that's a real, real important one, okay? So 
Moving on, another tip is, um, you know, this is a little off track of what the stuff that we've been talking about, but having a great corporate credit card, right? We talked about before separating your expenses and separating your personal from your business. Um, having a good credit card, having good credit, you cannot beat it, especially today. So if you're saying, John, I don't need another credit card, you probably don't. But what you do need is you need a company credit card, okay? Having good credit is important. What you don't need is to get a company credit card and then just go and blow it on stupid stuff. That's what you don't need. What you do need is to have a great credit card, okay? So I linked up down below, um, because if I did the, the research, it would take me forever. NerdWallet is tremendous. Uh, they do great research. So I linked down below in the notes a NerdWallet article that gives you the best credit cards for small businesses. And it tells you, um, you know, basically where to, uh, you know, which credit cards give you the best points, which ones give you travel points and all that stuff. So go and check it out because it is important to have a great credit history and have a great credit card. Okay. Also, I keep talking about organization. I used a, um, an online app uh, called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, Trello, okay? And Trello is basically, it's a list, it's a list um, uh, software. And so for my to-dos and for my, um, uh, for my shopping lists. And also I put um, like all the, my ideas for videos, I put them down and I put it in a list. Trello is great to keep your life organized and your business life organized as far as in lists. I love lists. Um, and it's a great free app, uh, trello.com, again, linked up in the bottom. And remember, I am not sponsored for any of this stuff. So, and even if I was, you wouldn't get charged for it, but I'm not yet because I'm not monetized yet. So don't worry about clicking on the link. And even when I can get something from an affiliate link, it won't cost you anything. So don't worry about ever clicking on the link. Just click it, all right? So trello.com, it's, uh, it's a great way to, to stay organized. Okay, so finally, um, getting to the end of this, uh, what is my biggest takeaway? Well, not takeaway yet. So my biggest thing to you is, and this is going to seem left field, but, uh, starting out as a, as a business person, entrepreneur, and again, even if you've been in business for years, the one thing that I've seen kill many, 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 uh, businesses is keeping up with the Joneses. Okay. And this one is important. Um, you think, what is he talking about? I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. When you're in business, you feel like you have to project and you have to be this, this really rich person and you, you want to impress all your friends that you're in business. Don't, don't give a shit what your friends think or say. You want their support, but just be you. This gets me so frustrated because all of this stuff with... Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Again, listen, I'm on all those apps. I'm on all of those platforms, but I know who I am. You know, I knew who I was way back in the day and uh, not everybody is like that. And a lot of people need the uh, approval of other people. So they think they need Ferraris and Lamborghinis in the background. They think they need to have the house on the ocean, um, you know, in the video. And you don't need any of that. You, you don't, you, you need to know who you are, right? If you, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. If you're one of those people that believe that you need that to feel good, that you need those things to, to be somebody, you need to take a, a notebook and go and sit on the edge of the water somewhere or go in your car and go into, go into some place, drive an hour away and just park in a parking lot and be with yourself for a little while and write down who you are and what you want to accomplish in life because it's not about showing off to other people. Listen, I like nice things. I have nice things. I have a Rolex. I have multiple watches, multiple cars, a beautiful house. But I didn't have those things my whole life. I grew into those things. I never bought anything I couldn't afford because I knew where I was going. I wanted to get here. I wanted to get to the place that I was financially stable. I can buy whatever I want now. Do I? No, because I've train myself that I don't need it. Yes, every once in a while I want to buy a nice thing. I want to buy a Mercedes or I want to buy another watch and that's great. But don't be 
uh, a follower of the Joneses. Don't. And and don't don't shut this off now. I, I, this is this is real talk because I see so many people, and I'm not only talking kids. I'm talking adults that they feel they need to project this this persona of what they aren't and what they need to buy and they don't right i'm, I'm going to give you a short story real short story this is a a, a story of, of of about me it was a few years back and um the bakery was was doing phenomenal uh, probably the pr most profitable year that that i had and i can't remember why but i, I didn't have my own car it wasn't, the, oh, I, I, I lent it to one of my employees, my car, to one of my employees. They needed to go somewhere. So it basically left me with um, my 1988 beater of a pickup truck. And I had to go to Walmart. Hopped in the, the pickup truck. It's a great pickup truck, by the way. I still have it till today. 1988 7.3 diesel pickup truck. Sounds great, but it's a piece of crap. Um, it looks like Sanford and Son's truck. It just does. So I go to Walmart. And I'm getting out of the door, and I see a buddy that I knew from high school. I'm like, hey. He's like, hey, John. I'm like, hey, what's happening? And I could see it in his eyes. He's like, oh, I feel bad for John. I guess he's having some hard times. I could see it in his eyes. Now, some people would be like, no, uh, you know, by the way, you know, uh, my, my Mercedes is... I didn't give a shit. I, I basically giggled to myself. I thought it was funny. You know why? Because I know who I am. I know what I have, and I know what type of person I am. Am I the nicest person in the world? No, sometimes I'm an asshole, but I know who I am, right? A am I the richest person in the world? Absolutely not, but I know who I am. Am I the poorest? No, but I know who I am. So in that time, shook his hand, he went in, I went in, and I giggled. Right? I basically giggled to myself because he probably went home and told his wife, oh, I saw, saw John Barudian. I don't think he's doing good. And to me, that's hilarious because I know how much money I had in the bank at that time. I know that the business was more profitable than it ever was. I knew I had a fleet of trucks delivering bread all over the state. I knew that. And I was happy with myself. And if I could transfer that to, to anybody... It's an important trait. You need to understand. Worry about yourself. Know who you are before you start trying to be all these perfect people on these social platforms. And this is important. I'm getting to it. This is important for an entrepreneur, right? Because if you're out there and you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and you're buying the newest car, the newest boat, moving into a house that you can't afford. Well, let me tell you something. That's going to affect your business, right? Because now you're trying to afford all these things. You're trying to juggle all this. That's another thing you have on your head. For all the things you have to worry about in business, now you have to worry about how am I going to afford my $1,200 car payment this month? No, no, no. Do me a favor. And, and, and that being said, I know there's some of you out there, well, John, I'm a financial advisor. I have to show that. I yeah, no, I get it. I understand. But what I'm saying to you is that you don't need to buy the newest, I don't know, BMW 7 Series. A three-year-old one is fine. You don't need to have the, the, the you know, a, a 2022 Corvette. You know, a 19, uh, 2019 is fine. You know, so you don't have to keep up with the Joneses. And I'm going to go off my soapbox. I apologize. I always rant. But this one is important. Knowing who you are. Take, keeping time and taking time for yourself is so important. Understand who you are. Love yourself before anybody else can love you. Okay? That being said, I hope, I hope this gave you some sort of... Uh, joy and it gave you some sort of you know excitement to either start continue or grow your business and uh again i am here to serve you so thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>